Hello mermaids! I hope you're having a fantastic mermazing day. So today I felt like doing a Shop My Stash and this will be the last Shop My Stash of 2022. So last one, number 14, Shop My Stash number 14, my total bath, self-care, skincare inventory for summer and fall of 2022. And we are indeed in fall. I saw some leaves falling today. I know it's not officially fall yet, until like as of September 21st, but to me, it's fall. Fall starts a little earlier than they say it does because the weather's changing, because of global warming. So since it's the end of summer and the beginning of fall, we are going to do our Shop My Stash today, and it will be the last one of the year. I am happy to do it though. So lots of bath, lots of self-care, lots of skincare. I have some on my desk I'll show you first. And then we'll go down to the floor where we were before and we will go over it. So before I get into that, I would like to do my little show and tell and tell you what's on my face. And so I guess I'll just get started. So the first thing I put on today, as usual, was the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. And it's in 001 Fair. I love this stuff. There's still some left there. That's what's left there. And I always put it on over scars and things. And then I'll put that away. And then after that, I put on my Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder, which I've hit pan in. Look at this. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I can see two circles of pan. Although I really don't want to use it up because, like, I don't want to go into my next powder because it's, like, super cute. This was one that wasn't, like, sentimental or cute or anything. But the Physician's Formula Butter Buddies Banana Butter is probably going to be next. And I just hate to use it up. So anyway, we're working on this. This is in 001 Transparent. I'll put that away. I also used my next, my next area was the Beauty Crop Stuck On You Eye Primer. And this is in a cute little purple or pink tin. It doesn't have the best smell, but it does work for eye primer. It tends to hold. Hopefully it's holding now. Yeah, it's holding now for the most part. So my eyeshadow looks pretty good. But that's my Stuck On You Eye Primer and I'll put it away. And then I put on the LA Colors Berry Kiss Palette. So I'm using three shades from the Berry Kiss Palette. This is the Fruity Fun Collection by LA Colors. And the first thing I used was this on the outside corner. I just used this light brown. It's like a nude brown shade. And then I used this berry like red shade right in the center. And on the inside, I used this. I used this instead of this one because there's less of this than there is of that. I really wanted to use this shade. But I have been using another eyeshadow a lot, and it's the Inmo Cosmetics. This is a Velveteen Dream Shadow in Hot Girl Summer, and I've been using it quite a lot. I've actually hit pan in it. I actually hit pan in it this week. I was really like, yes! But I was moving my finger a little bit, like trying to get to the pan. So it's really creamy eyeshadow, and I use it often. So I really like the nude shades and that simple Inmo Cosmetics shade. Now, up next, I put on my eyeshadow, my eyeliner, and mascara, and it's really simple. I'm only using these today, and my looks. My looks pretty simple today. I'm using the Tarte Tartist Mascara. This is a lash paint, and it's like a travel size mascara, but the wand is good. The wand is better than my um, Essence Cosmetics Mermaid Mascara. I really like this wand. It really separates your lashes and makes them look fuller. So I used that one. And then I have the Koki Professional Precise Longwear Liquid Eyeliner, Liquid Eyeliner in Smudge Proof Waterproof. This is in the color Ultimate Black. I like the stripes and um, I like this. I did cut just a tiny bit of the tip off so it would get a better application on there because it was kind of wearing out. But aside from that, it's a great eyeliner. I'm gonna use it till it dies. And for my lips, I'm using the Sugar Cosmetics Matte as Hell Crayon Lipstick in 28 Honey Writer. So I really like this, and I just sharpened it today. I'm trying to just use it. So I'm using that on my lips today. And for my skin and my hair, um, I use this on my skin. I just opened this recently. This is the Epione Beverly Hills Flawless Serum. It's one fluid ounce. It's worth about $150. But when I looked at Mercari and I was going to sell it, it was going on there for about $40 to $50. So I just decided to keep it. 
this you just apply it every evening and it's got like a silicone skin barrier and it helps protect your skin it helps like prevent fine lines and wrinkles and stuff so I really like the idea of this and I hope that it's gonna work for me and then last but not least I have the Mark Anthony grow long restoring anti-breakage mask this strengthens and protects damaged strands and then reinforces strength. This is in the Caffeine and Ginseng. It's 1.7 ounces. And it's okay, but it's a hair mask. It's not leave-in conditioner. It's a hair mask, so it's a little bit thicker. It's more like a really thick, creamy lotion. So I use that on my hair now. Um, and I also like this product a lot, but it's not a leave-in conditioner either. It's just for scent boosting. It's the Aussie Citrus Vibe Scent Boost with Australian Caviar Lime. It is... A little bit lower it's right here actually I haven't updated the line but I'm using it I'm just using it up and it's okay it is 3.2 fluid ounces so that's everything on my face or what I'm wearing and I think I'm going to move the computer down yonder and we will get into our <sighs> shop my stash number 14 I can't believe we're at the end so I have a lot of stuff down there so let's get into it Okay, mermaids, so I'm on the floor. We are not having the best lighting down here, but it will work. It will work. Last time it worked. So I'm here, I'm sitting Indian style. Let's open some stuff. So in our first bin, we have like a couple bins here. This is my first one. It's full of shampoos, random things. I have things organized as best I can. So I'm just gonna go through it a little bit at a time. So first up, I have something that is really for my youngest son, or just my sons in general. I have a set of two of these. This is the original Mane and Tail Moisturizer and Texturizer. This is our conditioner for thicker, healthier looking hair, and it's 12 fluid ounces. I love getting things in sets, although you really don't need to get things in sets. I don't do it with conditioner for myself. And this one is the Mane and Tail and Body Shampoo for shiny, manageable hair. They are both by Straight Arrow, which is a pretty good brand, and I've been getting these since I was a kid, so they're very nostalgic for me. It's Horse Girl Shampoo. There's a little horse on the back of it. I really like these. So I got them for my kid. Let me put them back in here. I have my razors in here in a jar. I've reused the jar, and I just keep it clean. So this is like a um, razor, like a dry shave razor. If you're in a hurry or you need to travel, this is a Philips satin I think I will link this down below actually that's what I'll do to Philips I do love this thing it's safer and then this is a Venus galette and I love the color so I use that one when I'm not on the go when I'm at home all right so up next we have these I haven't opened these yet but I have a two pack of air fresheners these are in the scent ocean breeze ocean breeze and they are by sparkle city scented sachet co sachet made in the usa you can use them in their, your bathroom your car your trash can and more but i would like to use these in the bathroom or maybe a drawer like clothes might put them in my clothes drawer i think that would be a great place for them but these are mermaid at heart air fresheners so i have two of them here so i think i could put one in so i have five drawers so i might switch them from drawer to drawer every so often i really like these air fresheners I'm not sure where my mom got them, but she did. And then I have my next in line conditioner. I have one that it's got a pump on it. It's the Herbal Essences and it's Argan Oil. Yeah, it's the one with Argan Oil and it has a pump and it's like a dark blue. I really like it, but it's almost, it's down to the bottom. It's getting empty. So I can either refill it with this or I can just put this in the bathroom. This is the Herbal Essences Bio Renew Coconut Milk Hydrate with real botanicals and it's got 90% natural origin and this is a conditioner so I like conditioners I use them a lot more than I use shampoos because my hair like I don't like to wash out the natural oils in my hair I need them so I like to add conditioner it just works for my hair better so I don't want to dry it out this is 13.5 fluid ounces and I look forward to using it I like herbal essences a lot so I also have a uh, nail polish remover in here that I don't often use. I could use it to like clean off nail polish off of old furniture and things that teenage me and teenage sister did, um, or just use it to clean things. Um, 
or if I really, really need it for my nails, I'll use it, but I really just don't. I like to just naturally let them wear off or pick them off. Not the best for your nails, I know, but I prefer that to nail polish remover. I just don't like the smell, but I do have it if I need it. All right, so I have these two things. Tattoo Goo Renew. Um, for the life of your tattoo, this is a tattoo enhancing lotion with SPF 30. So it's a sunscreen is what this is. And it revives older tattoos and keeps tattoos brilliant. It's a two ounce sunscreen by Tattoo Goo. I got this as part of a set. Um, it says it's not for new tattoos. You can use Tattoo Goo brand aftercare. So it's for older tattoos. Yes, it says that. It revives older tattoos. So I can use this as sunscreen and I really should. Um, I should keep it with my sunscreens and use that up. Because I just have this big um, bat wings thing on my chest. And that would be good. I have one on my back too, but I need to fix it. And then I have one on my hand and one on my arm. And that's really it. I think I have, what, four? So, not a lot of sunscreen, but it would help. I guess I could cover my whole body with that and just make it work. Up next, I have the Spoiled Rotten Clean Up Your Act Bubbly Body Wash. It's four fluid ounces. I got this at Ollie's. I think this is so funny. Uh, Clean Up Your Act by Spoiled Rotten. I haven't used it yet. I have not been able to find this on the internet. I don't know where to find it on the internet, but it just looks fun. I got it at Ollie's. So this is a body wash. Yeah, body wash. All right, and then I have a Daisy by Marc Jacobs Bubbly Shower Gel. It looks a little dirty on there, but that's just storage, and it's a white container. This is 75 milliliters or 2.5 fluid ounces. It came as part of a perfume set. I think I gave my mom the lotion that matches it and I have the shower gel, so I'll use this at some point. Shower gel is basically body wash. So same thing. And then I have a set of three here. These are from my second oldest son, Alex, for Christmas. And they're Studio Selection. It came with a, a spongy thing. Um, and also something else. I don't know if it came with a bathrobe or what, but these are super cute. This is the lilac scented bubble bath. We have the lilac scented body wash and lilac scented body cream. So the bubble bath is 4.0 fluid ounces. Love that leopard print. The body cream is also 4.05 fluid ounces. And then I have the Lilac Scented Body Wash. It's also 4.05 fluid ounces. So they're adorable. I love the leopard print. So I just haven't used those up yet. I'm trying to save them for a rainy day. And then I have something else in here that's amazing. I don't use this often. I really need to. I need to go to a dentist and I need to use this stuff. It's Biotene Dry Mouth Oral Rinse for soothing moisturization, immediately, immediate symptom relief. Freshens breath, alcohol free, and it's in fresh mint. It's 16 fluid ounces. I think I'm going to pull this out and put it in the kitchen, as well as this air freshener to put in my drawers. Try not to drop it and pull these out and use them. And that's it for that bin. So we'll just put that right back there, put that away. And <clears throat> earlier I did an empties video. So we're in our second bin now. I did an empties video and I had the tag for this. And it came from Dollar Tree. This is full, it's never been touched, but it's a super thin container, like just really thin, like you can just squish it. Um, I don't think it's recyclable. It says number one on it, so I guess it is, but I would refill it. It's just a gel soap um, Dollar Tree. I got one, it's purple soap. It's got the same pink lid. They all have the pink lid. I got one for Amy to match mine, so she'll have a mermaid soap for her birthday. And I thought this was super cute, so it's just in here, and I will put it in the other bin. <clears throat> That's my, like, body wash bin. Got my nail polish remover. I should probably figure out where that goes. I don't know where it fits, if it fits. And then my sunscreen, I need to put that down here in my bottom drawer, because it would work better in there. Oh, I have something else that goes with my shampoo bin. I'll put this in the other bin. Um, this is the Garnier Fructis Grow Strong Fortifying Conditioner. It has ceramide and apple extract, so it's an apple on the front. It has the, the blue bu uh, the bunny on it, Cruelty Free International. It's for stronger, healthier hair, and it's 12 fluid ounces. So this is a conditioner, it's just another conditioner for weak, fragile hair. Well, my hair is not doing that bad anymore, 
but I do like the idea that it will protect it. <clears throat> and this has three times less breakage with a system of shampoo and conditioner, but I don't really use shampoos as much. Um, so I think if I did, I'd really like to try bar soap shampoo, bar soap conditioner. I think that would be really cool and less plastic. But the problem is it's more expensive. You have to special order it and I can just get this at the store. But this does say um, eco-designed formulas, <clears throat> which means they track the biodegradability and water footprint of their formulas. It has recycled plastic packaging and the bottle without the cap. So not the cap. The cap is not recycled, but the bottle is made of 100% recycled plastic. That's very cool. And it's produced in a power plant powered by no less than 45% renewable energy. Very cool. Okay, I had to pause it. I had to cough. All right, let's put that down in there. And I also have, I'll pull these out for a second, put them to the side. But I want to show you these. These are my Cetaphil Gentle Cleansing Bars. I have two of them. I gave one to Amy, my alienated daughter. And I hope that she can use it. She has eczema just like I did. I grew up with eczema really bad, and these are really helpful. So I have them here just in case they smell so good. They remind me of a time where I really needed them. They're just really good bars with soap. They're inside of a plastic bag seal. So what you do is you take a rag, you get the rag wet or moist, whatever you'd like to do with it, and then you rub it on the soap. So, like, how do I demonstrate this? Okay, so I have a soap bar here. I'll just take it out. My soap bar. It's been in storage for a while. But you take the rag and you just rub it on the soap like this. So you have your suds, right? Lots and lots of suds. You just keep rubbing it. And keep the soap dry. Don't get the soap wet because it'll just fall apart. But you take the rag and you rub it on the soap like this. And the rag is wet. And then you take it and you have suds on it. And you'll pat those suds right onto your eczema or where your skin hurts. And you just rub it on there. Like you won't like wash your face but just like pat it on there and this is after you've already cleaned your face right you've already got everything off of it so you just pat it on there and you just leave the bu the bubbles and the suds on that spot like i used to have eczema like right here right here on my chin on my forehead so you just pat it there and just leave it there and let it bubble and it feels so good and then you take your soap and it's still dry and you just put it in your soap container whatever container you need to keep your soap dry um and then you can repeat that. You can keep doing that over and over again uh, as long as you feel like it, especially if, if it hurts. So I just really recommend that soap. It's amazing. Um, the things I set aside are these. I have two bath bombs. That's it. That's all I got right now. This one came from Dollar Tree. But you can also get it at Walmart.com. It's a little bit more pricey than it was at Dollar Twenty Five Tree. This is the Halu Unicorn Sky Wish Upon a Star Bomb. 3.5 ounces and it actually has a candle in the center so this is a bath bomb and this is the candle and when the bath bomb is done the candle will float so I think the whole thing just kind of floats it's very cool uh, it says get lit <laughs> floating candle bath bomb very cool and it says unicorns are real hashtag hallow unicorn hashtag hallow escape all you have to do is believe in yourself in the power of hope in the light of love that surrounds you they have an Instagram at Halu Escape, and I will check that out. I also have this bath bomb, came from Walmart. Um, I love the different shapes. They have like a lip set, lips. They have something else I can't remember, but this is the pineapple shape, and it's the Find Your Happy Place Palm Trees and Pina Coladas Fizzing Bath Bomb, 4.6 ounces by Unilever brand, and I'm just saving it for a rainy day. <laughs> Alright, here's this little poof that came with these, like I couldn't remember the name of it, but it came with these guys, so there's like a three pack of the lilac stuff, and then this came with them. So I have that there. I have some gloves in case I need to dye my hair. And then I have a hair dye, which I really don't need, but I think I'm going to save it because I like pink. I would totally put pink in my hair again, so some extra gloves and some hair dye. This is the L'Oreal Paris Colorista Semi-Permanent Color. I like these because you can just apply them directly to your hair. Less mess. Just put it in wherever you want to put it in. However you want to put it in. And the results are great. And um, it has the, the tube of color. 
the gloves, the instruction sheet, and the brush. And you really don't need anything other than that with this. Just no mixing or crazy stuff. It's just much simpler than other kits. So I wish they had it in all the colors, like lime green and stuff, but they only have a few, so I always get the pink. But I haven't dyed my hair in a long time. So this is four fluid ounces. I sold all of my other hair dyes, and this is the last one I have left. And the only thing I would probably dye my hair again at this point is like auburn or blonde, but I think putting pink in it would be fun. So I also have a razor that I don't need. It's new in the box. This is Joy, it's by Joy, um, there is, um, okay, Joy Shave, yeah, the Instagram is at Joy underscore Shave, so it's a Joy Razor, it's the pink one, with a 05 blade, so it has one razor, two cartridges, and the particular blade that it has is the 05, um, so this is nice, I really don't need it, I have a whole bunch of my... Um, Venus Tropical Razors. I have the um, teal one at the moment. The teal one at the moment. And these two I haven't even used yet. I really like these. I'll use my razors until they're like dull because I like dull razors. I feel safer with dull razors. And I think my top choice for a razor is this guy. It's electric. It's dry shave if you want. It can be wet or dry, but I just feel safer with this. I like this. So, but I do have these two. I have a yellow and a pink one aside from my teal one. Alright, so I also have this. I It's for a beard. It's a beard trimming kit. But it's a wall um, beard trimmer. I shaved part of my head with it. It's been here a few years. I don't really use it. Um, <clears throat> I could probably let this go. If I could sell it used. I don't know if people buy these things used though. But it's like been used once or twice. It has all the stuff in here with it. All the accessories. So, but I might keep that. I might get a better one though that would work with my, like if I wanted to buzz cut part of my hair again. But I really don't want to. You know what I'm saying? So here's a brush. There's a brush in here for hair dye. I've already cleaned these bins out. So they're pretty, they're pretty clean already, which is good. I also have a, like an apron. It's a hair dye apron. I might not ever need this. I've never used it. So I'm going to stick it over here with the wall. I'll think about getting rid of those. See if I can get rid of those. I don't need it. I'll keep these plastic gloves for hair dye. The pink hair dye kit. I'll probably keep it for now. And um, I have opened it. So let's put these. Um, there's our extra brush. I'll put that in there. And maybe I'll stuff the gloves in there. I know there's already some gloves in there. But. Oops. Wrong way. But I will stick these in there too. You never know when you're going to need some hair dye gloves. That's the one thing I love about hair dye kits is the gloves. The thing with the gloves though is like my hands are really small. And so I rolled it up stick it in there. My hands are really small and the gloves are always too big. And then it's hard to like apply the hair dye to my hair the correct way. Because the gloves are like in the way. So that's a problem. So I wish that the gloves were smaller. Or maybe I could just get a pack of separate ones and they could fit me better. So anyway, we have this stuff. It's our VIP Rosy Starlet Pre Poop Toilet Spray. You guys have heard me about it. I was super awkward before. I do like it. It's by Airwick. I don't use it as often, but I really should. I love it. It traps nasty odors. Doesn't mask them. <laughs> Up to 300 sprays for 100 uses. So you can use it three times per spray, per use. And um, it's 1.8 fluid ounces. Definitely love it. I'm going to stick it over here. Um... And then I have three soaps, three soaps left. One is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap with Shea Butter for troubled skin. It's for troubled skin, like troubled teenagers, troubled skin. It's eight ounces. Um, you can go to SheaMoisture.com. And I love this stuff. It's good soap, but it will get all over your shower and your bathtub if you're not careful. So you have to clean up after yourself and be very careful where it goes because it just makes a mess because it's black soap. All black soap tends to do that. Um, I think all soap does that. It's just we can see it easier because it's black soap. And then I have two more soaps. I just finished one of these off completely empty. So I have two left. So I might open one of these soon. Or I'll probably use like Dove or Cetaphil. So I have Nature's Promise Beauty. This is hand cut soap in blueberry. 
It's naturally exfoliating soap with blueberry seeds and shea butter. So I thought there were pieces of plastic in it, but there are pieces of seeds. They are little tiny seeds in the soap. That's very cool. I didn't realize that. This is five ounces and it's vegan. Hand cut exfoliating soap is formulated with a natural vegetable soap base and enriched with natural fragrances that will provide your skin with a clean feeling and refreshing scent. Love it. Love that soap. I would get it in others too, but I really need to use those first. So let me put everything back in the bins. I'm going to pause this and I'll do that myself. Okay, so I put everything back. So here's my bin of soaps, razors, hair dye, things like that. I'll put it over here. And my other bin has um, those were bar soaps. These are liquid soaps. So I have like shampoos, liquid soaps falling over and stuff. So I'll put those back in the bathroom. But before I do that, I'm going to make sure that everything in this bottom drawer is not like out of place. This bottom drawer, we're going to go through that today. Before we do that, I'll just show you this little caddy of things. It's like a kit for my bedroom, which just has some medicine products in it. They could go in the bathroom, but they tend to stay in my room because I'll grab stuff. The kids might be in here. I'll just grab it when I need it. And it's just here and I know where it is. So I have DG Health Triple Antibiotic, which is Neosporin. It's cheaper to get it from Dollar General. It's the same thing. This is one ounce. And I have some other random things like nail clippers, tweezers, hair, like bobby pins. I have some cotton swabs. Um, I have Green Goo Natural Herb Salve. It's animal first aid, so I use this on my chickens, my dog. Um, I have ducks, chickens, dog, cats. I do have corn snake too, but I don't use this stuff on him. And, I mean, he doesn't really get hurt, so. This is for insect bites, scrapes, dry cracked paws, cuts, wound care, and it soothes. Um, and it helps with bruises, so it helps relieve symptoms too. It's 0.7 ounces or 19.8 grams. I got this at Walmart. I think it was about $7. So I've used it about halfway, but it's good stuff. Um, I like to use it on my rooster's combs, which is the thing on the top of their head, and their wattle, which is down here. It's like a beard. I'll use that on those if they get frostbite or in the wintertime when it's cold, it protects. So, And then I have cortisone, what's left of it. <laughs> it's also um, DG Health, I think, or maybe Dollar Tree. It's Healthy Accents Cortisone Cream. I have my inhaler, I have Aquaphor Baby Healing Ointment for chafing, and then I have some band-aids and like a little set of tweezers. Not tweezers, these are weird things. I don't need any of these. Let's see if I can sell these. They've never been used. Never been used. Let's declutter those. And then I have a whole bunch of Rexall band-aids. Rexall band-aids are not the best band-aids, but they will work temporarily. So. Alright, so let's put everything back in there. It's my little medical caddy, little tiny medical caddy that comes in handy in my room. And then I have an extra caddy. It's kind of falling apart. It needs to be fixed. But I can put makeup in it or whatever. So, alright, let's get to these, this drawer. Okay, mermaids, here we are at the drawer for bath and health. Let's see if I can move a little bit out of the way. This is difficult. This is so difficult. Okay, how do I do this? I'm going to show you the drawer. Okay, we are full of stuff. We have deodorants down here. I have some hair stuff, some sunscreen. So my other sunscreen needs to go in this drawer probably, or maybe in the bathroom. I don't know yet. And we've got some, what is this? Cleanser maybe? I think it's cleansers. Cleansers, deodorants, um, leave-in stuff. Um, stuff from my carpal tunnel. There's some hand sanitizers here and there's some medicines and some hair ties and stuff. As far as this red box, it has like VIP empties of stuff that I don't want to get rid of. Um, we won't go through that today, so we'll just kind of pull it out. Um, but I'm going to go through this drawer as is. So let's, let's get into this drawer and get this done. I'm going to move a little bit. I'm going to be in the way probably the whole time, but I will show you everything in this drawer. I am going through my shampoo caddy once again. I'm going to straighten it up a little bit so that if I need to put anything in here, I will. 
I think I have, yeah, the Tattoo Goo Lotion is right here next to me. Right here. Right here. So, I don't know where I'm going to put it. I think I'm going to put it with, um, honestly, I think I would rather it be in this drawer because it's smaller. I think bigger stuff can go in the bathroom, but the thing is, with the bathroom, things can get, like, soap scum and stuff on it, and I really want to keep stuff clean. So, anyway, so these are my Mueller wrist braces. I have to use the rubber bands to hold them on to paint the butt because the Velcro doesn't work. And I have tiny hands, but I, I don't use these often because I need them and then they get too tight. And I need them again, they get too tight. It's like a circulation thing. But I do have carpal tunnel and arthritis. And I'm 29 years old and I have carpal tunnel and arthritis. But yes, it does happen to the best of us. So I have those. It looks like I have a um, Keys Soul Care item right here. This is the Harmony Mask um, by Alicia Keys. And it's got all kinds of like French on it. Uh, I think the French over here means you walk in your own strength. And this is 1.7 ounces. It's new in the box. I've never touched it or used it. I don't really need this. Might get rid of it. Might keep it. I don't know yet. But this is Keys Soul Care Harmony Mask. It's a nice thick glass bottle. It's like a dark purple. Um, it says prep skin with a warm moist towel then apply mask generously and evenly. Allow it to dry and allow yourself to relax for 10 to 20 minutes. Remove using a warm moist towel and rinse off any residue with warm water. Indulge two to three times a week. It is still sealed. It's a black seal. So I, I'm not sure about this. Um, I'm keeping it for now, but I don't use masks a whole lot. I prefer moisturizers, leave-on skincare, something I don't have to go back to and take off. So it's kind of difficult. I may declutter this, so I might sell this. I just wouldn't use it very much, or I would like have to make myself use it more often. like to get use out of it and not leave it to sit. Alright, so let's see if we have any more masks. Okay, we have the Wander Beauty Staycation Hydrating Mask, and it is 2.02 ounces or 60 milliliters. This says minimum effort, maximum results with peptide, ceramide, cranberry seed oil, and let's see here. How to use. To use as a mask, apply a generous layer and gently massage into skin using circular motions. Leave on, to 10, leave on for 10 to 15 minutes and rinse off with warm water. Or you can use it as a moisturizer. You can use a pea-sized amount and massage into skin. Leave on overnight and wake up to revitalize and nourished skin. So I can keep this. Is it showing off? Is like my camera showing you this? I hope so. It's Wander Beauty Staycation Hydrating Mask. I can use this as a moisturizer, thank goodness. So I will keep this. All right. So another moisturizer, I need to use this up at some point. This is the Pond's Dry Skin Cream Facial Moisturizer, and it's Rich Hydration, formulated by the Pond's Institute. This is 6.5 ounces. I have used this a little bit. It's not my favorite favorite, um, but it's for, it says hyperallergenic, suitable for sensitive skin, won't clog pores, dermatologist tested. So I've used a little bit, I've used like, I don't know how well you can see this. Use a little bit, not the whole thing, but just down underneath the lip. So I'll keep that. And let me see here. Moisturizers or masks. Okay, that's a hand treatment lotion. I'm going to put that to the side because that's an adult related product. So is that. I'm going to go over adult related stuff today. Um, I think that's it for moisturizers. Um, yeah, that's it for moisturizer. So let's get into cleansers. This is a Perlice Watermelon and Charcoal Purifying Cleanser. I have to be honest, I suck. I use wet wipes for cleansers, for cleaning my makeup off. Still to this day, yes, I do. Um, I don't really have time for um, fancy cleansers or masks or things like that. I probably need to start working on it. But like, um, I think I've used this one time is what this says. It says a one on it right there. I don't know if I would use this, these cleansers here. I have three of them. I just don't know if I will. I'll think about it. This is the Perlice Watermelon and Charcoal Purifying Cleanser. It gently re cleanses skin, removes makeup, purifies, and energizes for all skin types. 
It's one fluid ounce. Um, and their slogan is beauty through Asian wisdom. Now, what is going on here? Why does it feel wet? Oh, it smells good. It smells like watermelon. I just don't know if I will really use it because it's been sitting here. I used it once and I haven't used it. So let me think about that one. I might declutter that. And then I have our Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser for dry to normal sensitive skin. This hydrates as it cleanses to soothe and replenish skin's moisture. It has hydrating glycerin and essential vitamins B5 and B3. And it's two fluid ounces, so it's like a travel size. Um, and there's some information on the back. I'm not going to take that off. But it's number one dermatologist recommended facial skin care brand. I love Cetaphil. Um, as far as the cleanser, I don't know yet. Um, I might keep those, might keep all three of those things that I just decluttered. Maybe. I might. I might just do it because I need to like do a little bit better with my self-care. Especially now that I'm a caregiver. So, I don't know. Um, let's see here. Um, this is not a cleanser. This is a cleanser. This is the Tattoo Goo Deep Cleansing Soap for tattoos and piercings. So this is probably for newer tattoos. I'm not going to be getting any new tattoos or piercings for a while. It's very expensive and I need my money for other things. But this is antibacterial, antimicrobial, pH balanced, and advanced PCMXL micromolecular formula. It's made in the USA and it's two ounces. I probably use it once or twice. So it's got a little bit of air like it's down to there now like down to here so yeah I don't know do I need it I guess a little bit I can see it leaking out here it's clear but I don't know if I use that I could try I could try to use these cleansers more often that would probably help be helpful but I'm gonna put it with a declutter pile for now and then I have this Gold Faden MD, or Gold Faden MD, whichever. It's for problem skin, aging hands. It's their um, solution, hands to heart, anti-aging brightening hand treatment with niacinamide, glucosamine, and retinol. It gives rough, cracked, and aging hands moisturizing relief with Dr. Gold Faden's intense hand cream. It may reduce the appearance of dark spots, leaving hands smooth, soft, and hydrated. I picked this on purpose. It's 20 milliliters, so it's very small, but I picked this on purpose from Ipsy um, to use on my hands. It's sealed, it's new, but I will use that. I know I will use that. So that's four items so far. Definitely not decluttering. And where's that sunscreen? It's right in front of me. Okay, so I also have another sunscreen. It's the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. I've been told SPF 40 is not enough for my skin. I need like 50, 60, 70, 80 higher but this will work it's sunscreen um you know works it works if you work it so this one is spf 30 and this one is spf 40 so it's broad spectrum sunscreen spf 40 pa plus 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 water and sweat resistant for 40 minute 40 minutes and this is 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce so i like super goop i will use this I have this. Um, I don't have a lot of leave-in like hair conditioners at the moment. I need to replenish, restock. But this is the Garnier Fructus Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum. It just feels like baby oil in your hair. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this, honestly. Um, but it is all I have right now, except for the stuff on my desk. Um, this is, okay, their Anti-Frizz Serum with Argan Oil from Morocco. Frizzy dry, unmanageable hair, instant sleek, proven strength system, and 5.1 fluid ounces. So as much as I don't really like this anymore, it is cheap. So I got two or three bottles of it, and I have this one. It is available, and I'll have to use it for now until I get something else. So I'll have to keep that. I also have some hairspray. I don't use hairspray. I don't think I've ever used this. Um, I can declutter this. Am I been used once or twice. This is the Fakai Sheer Hole Hairspray. Um, it's 42 grams or 1.5 ounces. I got it at Ollie's for 99 cents because it's just a little teeny hairspray. So I'm going to let that go. And then I have the Curlala. It's Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils. Curlala Defining Curl Custard with no mineral oil or petrolatum. It's enriched with shea butter and olive oil. 
Um, you can say goodbye to frizz, unruly curls, and lifeless coils, define, shape, and control curls, waves, coils, and braid outs, while adding moisture, shine, and natural conditioning. This is three ounces, so is this, okay, it must be like my, um, Mark Anthony hair mask is what I'm thinking. It's like a hair mask. It's sealed. Okay, I'm not going to unseal it right now. Um, so, apply generously to wet or dry hair. Gently massage into scalp and work through hair from roots to ends. Style as desired, um, etc. So, it's probably a um, hair mask cream mixed with a leave-in conditioner. I don't know how thick this is, like lotion thick, or if it's more like watery to put in my hair easier, but I will keep that. So maybe I can use that um, and then the Garnier Fructis because I know what this is like. I don't really like it anymore, but I know what it's like. And by the way, I was thinking while I was talking, because I do that, I am going to keep the cleansers and the hair mask because I do need to work on my self-care and I, I know I need to work on my self-care so I'm going to keep this Perlice cleanser, um, this Keys mask. Because I would like to feel good about myself and, and what makes you feel good about yourself more than really nice hair products or face products or just skincare? Like skincare is a new health care. We can't afford to go to the doctor so we get nice skincare, right? I mean it's the least we can do for ourselves. So I'm going to keep these two. All right, so up next I have some other hair products. I have the African Pride Moisture Miracle Coconut Oil and Baobab, Baobab Oil. Um, there is no mineral oil, parabens, sulfates, or petrolatum. It hydrates and strengthens, and it's a leave-in cream. This is a very large container. Um, I can use this for my hair as well. Um, so it's 15 ounces and it provides intense moisture and helps repair natural coils and curls. I can definitely use this at some point. I think it's sealed. Nope, it's not sealed, but I have not used it before, so it seems like a very, um, smells like coconut, very much like a natural coconut, and that's not going to be hard to put into my hair at all. Oh, that smells very good. I'm going to use that up next, I think. I'm going to go for that. That's nice. I look forward to that one. This one, I don't know. This is the OK Pure Naturals African Shea Butter for skin and hair. You can use it as la uh, lotion, and it makes your skin really shiny. But, like, it's really thick. I don't want to touch it. I'm just not sure about it. I got this brand new. It's just really thick. Uh, I don't want to swatch it or anything. Um, and mess it up but it looks thick but if you put your finger in it it's like butter it's like butter yeah I just got this from the Dollar General Days of Beauty box it's just not something that I would buy so um, will I keep it probably probably but I don't think I just don't know it just seems really weird to me but this is in yellow smooth Imported from Ghana, Africa, so this is probably for darker skin types. This is not for white girls, um, but um, unrefined, made from the nut of the African shea tree. Okay, African shea butter is a rich butter that has been used for its many skin and hair benefits. So, I'm not sure. I will have to think on that one. Do I, I will think on that one. I will think on that one. I might let it go. I have two hand sanitizers. One is Baby Grow Goo and one is Minnie Mouse. Neither one have been used. They came from Walmart. Very cute. These little things tend to break really easily if you're not careful. If you just want to put it on your purse and leave it there. Um, honestly, because this thing will break, I've noticed. So I'm trying to be careful with them. I don't use hand sanitizer a lot, really. So I could let like one of those go, pass it along to someone else. But I'm going to keep them because they're cute. And really, I just have deodorants and medications at this point. We're at 45 minutes, so we're close enough. But I have one on my desk like this. This is the Suave Coconut Kiss. So I really don't like this at all. I don't like this deodorant. I'm going to give it to my mom and see if she likes it. And then I have the Suave Tropical Paradise. It's a little bit bigger. I don't know if I'm going to like this either. I just don't like the smell of Suave. 
Um, but I mean, I might have to keep them because you need deodorant, right? This one's 1 1.2 ounces, the Coconut Kiss. I don't really like this. I'll see if she wants it. I'm finishing up my current one and I'll stick it with my beauty empties. And the Tropical Paradise Anti-Staining Invisible Solid. Um, it's 2.6 ounces, so it's a little bit bigger. So I don't know if she'll want that one. I might keep that one, see if I like it. I'll put it back. I have three of these. These are all gel deodorants. They're clear gel deodorants. I have three of them by Secret. And they're Secret Rose 48 hour clear gel antiperspirant. It looks like it's at half mast almost. It's not very much. It should be at the bottom full of deodorant, but it's like from here to here is air. And so I don't know. But they are gel. I usually am not a fan of gel deodorants, but I have three of them. I got them on sale. I'll just give them a try and use them anyway. Even if I don't like them, I'll use them anyway. They're 48 hour clear gel. gel. And rose scent. I like the um, solid deodorants better from Secret, but I accidentally got those by mistake. And then I have this. This was like almost nine bucks for this deodorant. And I know it's worth every penny, but still, that's a lot of money for any product personally for me. So this is the Axe Cool Ocean with Essential Oils Deodorant. It's 48 hours fresh. I got this because it was new. It's a brand new light scent. And this is three ounces or 85 grams in Cool Ocean. I love the starfish and the seaweed and it just looks like an ocean. It's very pretty. So I'll save the best for last on that one. And I'll have to put stuff back in this bin. But I do have a little like cup full of like random sharp pencil sharpeners. I have three random pencil sharpeners and some weird things in here. Um, I could put these with this stuff probably. My makeup bin we just went through and organized. In this bag we have the Lily Pulitzer for Estee Lauder and I have a matching palette to this but the palette is empty. And this is just hair ties and stuff so I have like a lacy one. Um, this thing. I'm not going to use this. I'm going to get rid of that. It's a head wrap and there's a gray one. Go ahead and let that one go. And then aside from that, I just have some clips, a clip, and this pearl headband that I'm also not going to use anymore. I'm going to let that go too. Some rubber bands and some bobby pins. Some bobby pins. And I like this lacy one. I like this one a lot. I don't really use it, but I like it because it's lace. The Elizabeth Arden box has VIP empties in it that are just stuff that I don't want to get rid of. So we don't need to go through that today. But we have our hair stuff. And then right here, this is going to be boring as heck. And YouTube will probably delete it. Just like they deleted my last video. They deleted one of my videos, guys. They were like, you can't say that stuff on YouTube. So we're going to delete your video. I'm like, what the heck did I say? Oh my god. So whatever. I don't care. YouTube. Anyway, so I have a Zyrtec bottle, um, all day allergy relief. I have to write Zyrtec on it so I know what it is. And then I have a another one, and I have Claritin, and then I have Prilosec, Prilosec, and some allergy meds, and some bag balm. This is bag balm, Vermont's original bag balm. I think this is for cows because it has a cow on the logo, logo, but you can use it for anything. It's skin moisturizer for dry, chapped skin. It's one ounce. You can use this on hands, feet, elbows, knees, cuticles, lips, or face. And that's this one. It's a piece of lint in there, I think. But I may have used, I've used one of these. I used that one. The other one's new. Really like those. Where is that other, like, I have... Oh, that tin is in that caddy because I'm trying to use it up. So that makes sense. That's why it's there. And then I have some cream and a pill cutter. And that's really it in here. So that's everything in my drawer. I'm just going to like put it back now and see how it looks. Okay, mermaids. So I put everything back in the drawer. Like I'm going to um, have it organized better. So I have my deodorants. Um, hair stuff. There's a hand sanitizer there. It's a lotion there. These are like skin. So there's a moisturizer, moisturizer, hair mask, or face mask, 
Um, you have some sunscreens right here, and then you have some cleansers. And this right here is also for hair, so I wanted it to, to put it here, but it'll work. And if I can fit anything in this drawer, I will. I think I'm going to put... Sorry for moving the computer a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to put this um, caddy here. Whoa. Caddy here. And I'll stick it in the drawer, and it goes right next to my like wrist braces. Um... And then I have my hair ties, meds, things like that. So I'll put everything like this very neatly. Very neatly. Okay, and then I have my declutter items, which are pearl headbands, a couple of headbands. I, I'm, I just don't like these. They're too tight. Um, they just don't work for me. And then I have this. It's a Manny, Manny kit. I have some OK Pure Naturals African Shea Butter. We're going to declutter this. It's brand new, never been used, just not for me. Um, unless my mom is interested, I will probably resell it. And then I have a Suave Deodorant. I just don't like this. I don't like the smell of this. It's just weird to me. And I already have one I'm finishing up. And then I have the Thick High Sheer Hold Hairspray. I just don't use hairspray barely been used anyway, so I'm going to let this go. I'll put this with these and probably put it in a lot, so like a hair lot. Um, and I have this wall thing, and it's barely been used, so I might list that as well. And then I have this apron for hair dyeing. I, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm going to let this go. I don't need this. And then I have some things that I pulled out that I can use and put in the kitchen like the biotine for when I brush my teeth, I'll rinse with this. Very important, need to take care of my teeth better. And then this I'll put in my clothes drawer. And then, and then the other caddies, I'll just put them back in the bathroom. They're pretty organized. So I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Just um, hit the little subscribe button, it would mean the world to me. And uh, especially if you like stuff like this, I'll start another, um, shot my stash video um early of 2023 see where we go from there um we'll do a do it all over again if i feel like it but definitely empties and i do like haul videos and stuff um apparently youtube doesn't like unboxing videos it was an amazon mercari unboxing video and they deleted it from youtube and i was like what the heck did i do youtube they never told me why or anything but they don't like unboxing videos apparently <laughs> they're politically correct so I'll just do my best, and um, I hope you guys like this, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, I really, really, really appreciate you, and um, let me know if there's anything in this collection that I showed you today, or the last one that was the makeup drawers. Let me know if there's anything that you have, or that you would be interested in. Don't forget to watch the other video if you haven't already, I would really like that. Give me your commentary and let me know what you think. So I hope you have a fantastic, mermazing day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, mermaids.